What is up you guys, my name is Selena and today is going to be a new tutorial in Premiere Pro showing you guys how to do this Huji Fuji Film look effect for your videos. And the new Huji Film app has actually been blowing up recently and I've been loving the app, I've been using it so often for all of my pictures but sometimes I actually wish I could do that effect over videos. So I decided to experiment in Premiere Pro and try to get that same sort of look and I think I got something pretty close to it so I'm going to show you guys how to do it right now. As you can see I have my first clip right here and obviously this is not going to look good on every single clip. I feel like if you have like maybe a darker clip you're going to have to like tweak the settings a little bit and just play around with it but I just wanted to show you guys like the basic sort of settings to create this effect. Okay, so the first thing I noticed that it has a sort of very, very light RGB effect. So we're going to make the RGB effect super light. I've explained this in many tutorials, so you guys can skip to this button right here if you already know how to put the RGB effect. But if not, you can keep watching. So I'm going to hold all on my clip and bring it to the second video line and then the third video line. So we have three copies of the clip and I have a preset actually for the red channel, blue channel, and green channel. So you can actually download that in one of my preset packs. It's free, so you, I'll link it below. But if not, then we'll just keep going. So I'm gonna search up the RGB color balance and I'm gonna bring that on all three clips. And then for my top clip, I'm gonna change the blending mode to screen and I'm gonna change the green to zero and then the blue to zero. And then for the second clip, I'm going to also change the blending mode to screen change red to zero and then blue to zero and then for the last clip we're gonna change red to zero and then green to zero and now it just goes back to the normal clip and then what we're gonna do is search up lens distortion in effects and then we're gonna bring that onto all three of the clips as well okay so let's go to the clip on the third video line we're gonna change that curvature to negative four and then we're gonna go to the second video line change that to negative three and then the first video line and change that to negative two and I already played around with these settings before so you can tweak it if you want but these are the settings that I kind of like obviously if you adjust the curvature you guys can get different RGB effects but we'll just keep it at these settings okay so now what we're gonna do is go and create a new adjustment layer so we can add our coloring effects on it so we're gonna just drag the adjustment layer to the fourth video line and then we're going to go to effects and put lumetri color onto the adjustment layer and then we're also just going to add lens distortion on the adjustment layer. Okay, so I noticed with the Fujifilm pictures um, at the edges, it's still very distorted. And so we're just going to add more lens distortion on all of the clips this time, not just for RGB. So we're going to change the curvature not too much. We're going to go to about negative 5. So you can see a little bit of distortion on the edges. If you bring that curvature a lot more, the quality is going to be less. So we don't want to ruin the quality that much. Okay, so now let's move on to Lumetri Color. So I noticed... Um, that all the Fujifilm pictures are very very contrasted so we're gonna bring the contrast to like 66 and I also noticed it's a little bit more bluer so we're gonna change the temperature down to negative 9 so it's blue okay and then you can also bring the shadows down so you can really really make it contrasted so you're kinda just bringing the darks to be darker okay and then we're just gonna add a little bit of fade so I'm going to around uh, 15 and I also noticed that the Fujifilm pictures are kind of more saturated. So we're going to bring the saturation to 121. Okay, now let's go on to curves. And so this is where it really depends on what type of clip you have. So you can really play around with the curves. What I like to do is create three dots just like this. So you can create like an S curve or just like adjust the dots so you can find a coloring that you like. Um, so really just play around with it. It really depends on your clip I don't want to tweak this too much because I think it already looks pretty good Okay, so I think I'm pretty happy with this maybe just add a little bit more contrast But now we can sort of add some cool special effects So in the app you can actually see that there's some little film dust or there's sometimes light leaks Which is I which I love light leaks so much like I love it when a light leak pops up on my picture so we're just going to try to recreate those things for videos. And so luckily on the internet, there's a lot of lens dust and light leaks uh, free like on YouTube. There's a lot you can get. So I just got this from YouTube. I got this lens dust effect. So I'm going to bring it to my fifth video line and we're going to change the blending mode to add and we're going to change the opacity very low. We're going to go to around 15%. 
And so now it has a sort of dusting effect throughout the video. And then I'm also going to add some lens flares. I really like the orange lens flares. I actually have a tutorial on how to make lens flares in After Effects and you can export those and then bring it into Premiere Pro. But yeah, I also just got this uh, free light leaks on YouTube so you can also do that. So you're also just going to change the blending mode to add and then you can adjust the opacity to whatever you want. I kind of like it to be a little bit more lighter so I'm going to change the opacity to 19%. Okay, last but not least, I like to add a little bit of grain or noise, so I'm going to search up that in effects and put that on the adjustment layer. Sometimes people don't like to do this because it feels like it's kind of ruining the quality, but I really think that's how it looks like a film, old-fashioned Fujifilm look. So we're going to add some grain on it. I'm going to around 12%. And so yeah, that completes the tutorial. I think it looks pretty good. It really depends on your clips. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.